What's going on guys, No Guides here, welcome back to another video. This is about how to get more wins guaranteed in Foot Champions during Team of the Season or Team of the Season so far. This is arguably the most important time of the year because people are coming back to play Team of the Season and it's going to be the most sweatiest champs ever. I'm going to go over formations and tactics to use, super subs, things you can do to guarantee your Foot Champs performance to reach Elite for the first time or to reach Goal 2. The reason why, Goal 2 is what you want to get. This is the benchmark. If you're right now a Goal 2 player, this is going to, this year, this week, should I say, from what I learned last year is, if you're a goal two player, you're probably going to become a gold three player. If you're a gold elite one, elite three player, you're going to become basically a gold one player. Because people go down in ranks because of how sweaty it is. You want to get gold two for the sole reason is, in case you don't know, you get a guaranteed major league team in a season. Now, it, this is the time now where everyone plays sweaty because I'll tell you why. If you get one team in a season in your, in this week for rewards on Thursday, you're going to have a much better result. Basically, you don't want to get caught behind that because if you miss out on, let's say, Elite, or you miss out on Goal 2, your team won't be upgraded. And people are going to have team of the season strikers, team of the season center backs, and this will change the game to such a level. It's, it's ridiculous. This it happened last year. People struggled so badly, so do not let this go away. Now, let's go over this. Now, as I said as well, this is a time to get Elite. Now, normally, I stop at 20 and 0 or 20 and 1 because Elite rewards are not worth it. Normally, you get, what, 30k from Elite? Gold 1 is sometimes better, but this is a time where Elite is actually worth it. Why? Because you get those guarantees. In case you don't know, you actually get the community premium team of the season so far pack. You could easily make between 100 to 400k from one Elite pack. So if you leave, if you're this weekend league, you don't play that good, or let's say you don't play your best, next weekend league you're going to suffer because everyone's going to have better teams than you and you're going to be behind the cycle. So don't let the snowball effect. Make sure you're part of it. And the, the best things I'll say to you is number one, is to apply fitness card every single game. I know many of you guys are always in doubt. This is just so important, especially during team of the season now. There is no way a cent you're going to have center backs. People are still playing center backs with 80 pace. During team of the season, you're going to get wrecked, especially when you've got low fitness. The most important thing people don't know is a reaction. So many stats, reactions, agility, ball control, acceleration, all those stats are affected by stamina. So if you have a player who's got 98 stamina, just put 99 stamina on them. What, if you're ever worried about buying fitness cards, just buy them cheaply on Thursday. You can buy fitness for 15K. Think about it. You're going to spend 15k extra a weekend. You're probably going to make some money back through the coins. It probably only cost you 6k in total. There could be the difference between getting goal three and goal two. Do you really want to risk the difference between getting a guaranteed major league and a guaranteed not? Take a fitness card. It's so important because now you're going to be playing against loan cards. People are going to bring out their loan cards, everything they have to get the highest push. The second thing is take a break. Now, this is important. If you lose a game, please take a break. You don't understand how bad it is to play after loss. Don't think, oh, let me just have one more game. I only lost. Oh, I got a bit unlucky that game. If you do that, you're going to go into a downward spiral. As soon as you take a, lo a loss, take a break. Now, I don't mean take an hour break. I don't mean just literally take a two-minute break, but walk around. Do not sit in your same chair. Don't look at your phone. Don't look at what TikTok, TikTok videos or whatever people watch nowadays. It's out on your phone. Just go take a break. Legit walk out your room. Go get a glass of water. Psychologically speaking, for the mind, it's really good to look away from the screen. I promise you, if you record a gameplay, you can you can do it via share play as well. Or you can go to your capture gallery. Go look at one of the previous games that you played and watch it back. You're going to see that you're going to be thinking, hang on. I rushed that situation. I didn't mean to do that. It's because when you're losing, you get more angry, more agitated, and you play, you rush, you play quick football. It's not worth it. So make sure you take a break. The next thing is split your games out. Now, this is the most important because before this week, it was fine. People play team of the season or, uh, sorry, foot champions normally, casually. But now because team of the season is out, people are now going super try hard. You can only play five to seven games, in my opinion, in a row. I know when I stream, I play something like 30 games in a row. It's a bit different. Believe me, if I wanted to play serious, I would take a break every five or seven games. There is no way. As I said before this week, people were playing casually. It's fine. People are trying hard now. Please, try to split your games out. 10, 10, 10. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you can, try to split more of your games out. Play the majority on Sunday because that's when there's a better connection. That's what I'll say. But don't play 30 games in one go. It's really, really important. A lot of people I see play 10 games. I'll be honest, concentration levels dip. I think my performance dips after four games. I'll be honest, my concentration levels dip to about 50% to what it is normally. So make sure you take a break. And for that matter, avoid playing on Friday. Now, why do I say avoid playing on Friday? Now, let me show you something. On Friday, a lot of the pros, a lot of the really good players, they play. Why? As you can see, top 100. You can see, for example, this person over here, Anders, this guy is like, I don't know, he's a kid, but this guy is amazing at the game. The reason why they, they're playing the games quickly is they want to get a higher skill rating. So biggest 30 and no is so contested, for example. Um, biggest 30 and no is so, let's say, for example, last week, right? 
basically everyone in, in the top 100 is 30 and 0. So the differentiating factor between someone getting 30 and 0 and not getting top 100 or getting a Lee 1 is a skill rating. Now, if you play on Friday, you get a higher skill rating. That's why people play like their first 10 games on a Friday. So if you want to get the best chance of the weekend league, avoid playing on Friday because statistically speaking, you're going to play more pros on Friday. It's same as Sunday. Don't leave your games last minute on Sunday because a lot of people, they say, okay, you know what? I got four games left. I need to get Elite 3. I need to win every single game. If you leave all your games last minute, everyone else is in the same boat as you. This is what I see. People, they're like, oh my God, you know what? Um, I've got 21 wins. I need to get Elite 3. I'm going to leave all my games last minute, hopefully get an easy rage quit. Well, let me tell you something. Everyone else is doing the exact same thing. So those are going to be the trial time. So do not play Friday. I would say do not play Friday until the evening. And, play and by the way, if you're watching this now, team, this is going to be out in, in like a legit 30 minutes time. Do not play tonight. Make sure you play, for example, on Saturday or late now. If I do not play now, the servers are going to be so amped up. People are going to be buying packs, promos. The servers are going to be a no-go zone. So do not play tonight and do not leave your games until Sunday morning. Please, please do not do it. I know people are doing that now because of the people are working from home, not going to school, but do not do that. The next thing is super subs now. A differentiating factor now in winning is a super sub. People have got good teams now, especially if you're going to be during team and season. As I said, for the next eight weeks, every week there's going to be new team and season cards. This week's a community-based one, so there's going to be good players released. If someone gets a good pick, they're going to put that in their team. Now, a lot of people are also going to get good picks as well. They're going to get players like Pepe. Well, I got Pepe two weeks ago. But Pepe is not that much of a good player, but he's a pace injection. You want players like this. I packed someone like Aubameyang very luckily as well. If we didn't do Ryan Kent, jokes on you. If you didn't do him, 20k, what a player. One player that I'd recommend that's a really good super sub if you have the coins is, is Cornet. I think that's how you say his name. And um, this card is amazing. If you guys have the coins, this card is a joke super sub. Why? Five star weak foot, high, high. This guy's got the dribbling, got natural, got the agility, the balance, and he's got 89 finishing and very good sprint speed and stamina and strength. This guy is really good to bring on on the wing. Why? A, he can pass. B, he can actually shoot and C, he's fast. And he's got a four star weak foot. I'm sorry, C has actually got a good well round stats and can dribble. So it's really, really important. You get a card. I would recommend someone like Cornet. If you want someone to close the game out, I would recommend at this stage of the game, a centre mid, someone like Atal. And I'm, I mean like his inform card. So his inform, I don't know if, not, not his special card. I know there is this one here. This inform Atal is amazing card for centre mid. Five star weak foot. It's important now to get subs. In my opinion, most people are going to be still playing slow centre backs. If you are, if you're still using someone like Laporte, get rid of them. If you have someone like Eden Militao in the game and he has 80 pace and you have anchor on him, put a shadow on him. There is no way. I can't even look. I'll be honest. I play aggressive football. There is no way I can play without fullbacks and centre back now because everyone's pace abusing. If you if you're playing attacking and you make a mistake and you get done on the counter attack, the difference is is your opponent's going to run in behind if you've got a slow centre back. So get rid of a slow centre back. And on that note with tactics, have a backup tactic now. Sorry, I know I'm speeding through. So I want to get this done as soon as possible. Have a backup tactic now. I don't mean, for example, now obviously if you want, if you haven't seen my progressive tactics, make sure you see that. But have a different style of play. Two tactics I'd recommend is my 5212. Make sure you go watch the video on that. It's on my channel. Just search 5212 on my channel. You'll find that. The reason why is people are using the 4231. That is completely fine. You can keep using that. But if you find someone else is also using a 4231, he's going to match you. You might want to change a different formation, like a 41212 second variation. I'd recommend that. By the way, I've got a tactics video coming out on a 41212 second variation. That will be out tomorrow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get it out if I get it edited by tonight. By tomorrow so stay tuned for that so make sure you have a backup tactic i'm not saying for example have a complete different tactic play your 4231 but have a wide formation or have a narrow formation this way you have variation i would recommend in my opinion a 5212 a 4231 a 442 and a 41212 will give you a good variation master two of those in my opinion the 5212 is the most universal formation why it's like a narrow 41212 and the left back and right back acting as wingers is one of the most op formations and broken formations in the game i'm sure 99 of you guys seen that video already it is such an op formation you're not playing five defenders you're actually playing almost as a 4 1 2 and 2 with the left back and right back acting as wingers. Really, really OP. The next thing is avoid distractions. I know what you guys are thinking. Why now? Because this is the time where you don't look at your phone at half time. Well, you can look at your phone at half time, but don't answer someone. Don't respond to someone during the middle of the game. As I said, now, if you make a mistake, people are going to be sweating now. So you make a mistake, you best believe that person is going to be parking the bus the entire game. Don't put yourself an opportunity. If 
Someone texts you, leave your phone to the side. If you're busy, leave everything to the side. If you're watching Netflix while you're playing champs, turn Netflix off. Seriously, this is the most important time now to concentrate. Don't look at halftime stats and more importantly, don't blame the game. Now, I know everyone always asks me this. I always, I'm not joking, the game goes against me as well. People think because I have a good MS, I don't suffer lag. I promise you right now, I probably have a worse lag than 90% of you guys in the EU already. I'm telling you right now, my internet is honestly atrocious. So although it looks like, oh my God, he's got 14 MS and a five bar connection. Come into my stream and see how bad I'm lagging and you'll change your perspective. Don't blame the game if you get angry. If you get angry and you lose, that's it, take a break. Don't blame the game because if you blame the game and you get angry, people are gonna be playing more try hard. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna make you rage quit, they're gonna start shishing you, they're gonna start holding the ball. So do not get angry, do not rush players out of position. Because what's gonna happen is if you if you concede a BS goal, just legit pause the game 45 minutes at half time. Don't skip the half time, just take a 30 second break. Just think if someone scores and you kick off, legit, don't kick off straight away, just take a break, 10 second break, just compose yourself, then play on. 45 minutes and 90 minutes goal, in my opinion, don't exist. I looked at every single video of 45 and 90 minute goals that are conceded. A lot of the time, players will get their center back and they'll run out of position, and that's why they'll concede at 45 minutes because they'll start panicking. If, you, if you're worried about 45 minutes and 90 minutes goal, then just hold the ball. Hold the ball at 87 minutes, or let's say 42 minutes. Get the final attack and ensure you don't concede at that time. Anyway, guys, that is my top tips. I didn't want to make this video too long because I know while, while by the time I've uploaded this, Team of the season's out, you probably want to get into your games, so do bear that in mind. But if you are going to play tonight, if you are watching this and you're playing on a Friday at any time in the next couple of weeks, make sure you don't play your games from, like I would say, UK time, 6 p.m. or anywhere near that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take it easy, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.